Welcome to my vertical studio called Gardens of Buildings, a garden's role in unprecedented times. Landscape architecture is an art and science of the possible, says Cornelia Hahn Oberländer, a very known but famous Canadian landscape architect. The art is to analyze the site and the science is the research that you have to do in order to make your ideas work. And in our studio, which we're going to do in the fall, the art of analyzing a site is very important as part of the process of designing and using the science of research to work it. And I thought this is a good start to introduce my project. A few words about myself. I've been enjoying the environment since I was a small child, as you can see here in the Alps, living in the log cabin of my grandmother. And that had a huge impact, profound impact on me. And I studied then later on horticulture and landscape architecture in Britain and have been a landscape architect for nearly three decades. And I've been teaching for more than 20 years and the last 15 full time here at UBC. I wrote a peer reviewed journal article for a journal in China about this studio, which is called Gardens are buildings, or gardens are in unprecedented times, with a former planning student who was stuck because of COVID. So we both spent time working together on this article. And in this article, as well as in the studio, I asked three questions. What are the roles of a garden today in this unprecedented pandemic? And how will this pandemic alter the opinions and access to gardens and parks? And how can planners and designers help to provide more gardens and green space in cities to help to mitigate the effects during and after the COVID crisis or the future crises? So I developed this tool which looks at um, basically building typologies, for example, in a hospital, a high-rise building, a research lab, an educational building, and the garden activities which take place when there is a garden accessible to these buildings. And I then went into deeper developing matrices looking at each of these building typologies like below the educational building and then looked at the programming to come up with an argument in relation to the use of the building in relation to the garden, what garden activity is actually necessary in the different buildings. And there are two matrices and there are more, which I'm showing in the article. These images here shown are very important in the sense that they really depict the message of the studio. It, I argue that often the site is not thought of so much from a landscape architecture point of view, but first from a building point of view. But I argue that actually the garden should be the driver, what kind of building and how the building's use and relationship to the garden should be designed. So these are some examples which are also available in the journal article. The studio format is in three phases. The first phase um, is individual garden design. Each student will do three assignments from analysis to designing a garden. In phase two and three, there are small group and large group assignments and um, where we are looking at different scales. So we're working ourselves from the garden to the urban block scale and then to the urban scale and how gardens are related into these different and connected in context of these different scales. The project sites for phase one is every student has an individual garden to design where he resides. And then for phase two and three um, sites, are you, uh, teams are created small teams and larger teams. And uh, then sites are chosen and from one of the team members and the other team members have to work and cooperate with those team members together. And that's all just done in discussion with the professor. The studio up setup is very different to the normal studio where we design from the large scale to the small scale. Here we design from the small scale to the large scale. And the reason is it's a good way to learn landscape architecture as the scale and large landscape architecture goes from a garden right to the region. And it's in a familiar scale before one works at the urban scale. So the garden scale everybody is, has experienced while the urban scale is much more complex. And for that reason, I argue that it is important to first start with the garden and then work your, work, work your way up also using different technological tools to show it. And uh, finally, I have a movie here, 
which hopefully is working, yes. So what I'm trying to say in this movie, you can see that very clearly, mostly what happens on a site, first the architect designs the building, and then it is very rare that architects, landscape architects cooperate right from the beginning, and then the landscape architect comes in as an afterthought. And I argue that maybe this is inappropriate and we should be thinking first of the garden or the garden use in relation to the building typology, like say a hospital, what kinds of gardens need to be created, for example, for a surgeon and a nurse to rest, for the patients to recover from their, their illnesses and for the visitors to have a garden to come before they go into the building. So there's these different kinds of activities which happen in gardens which have a profound effect on how a site is designed in relation to the building. So I argue, and this is also the, argu the argument of my journal article, that gardens maybe often should be first and then the building grows from that garden. And um, this is all I have to say for now and I hope we, uh, I'm then ready for questions on the Tuesday, September 8th to take questions and any other qu queries you have. Thank you very much.